Yo, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront. Welcome back to the defense of Hill 400. Last episode, we captured it. Now we're defending it. Go back to what I had said in our previous video. I, it just dawned on me that Company of Heroes, for example, featured this mission, but not necessarily this mission, because, of course, for the original Company of Heroes, it took place during D-Day up until the Fillet's Pocket, which this is taking place uh, after the uh, Battle of the Bulge and pushing through Belgium. Belgium into Germany, so uh, certainly many famous hill battles, especially when it comes to uh, Company of Heroes, a lot of those uh, taking hills with hedgerows and whatnot, and this game, the Liberation Campaign, featuring a lot of these as well. Now, if you missed the previous episode of Capturing the Hill, make sure you uh, absolutely watch it, because the Germans put up a pretty damn good fight, although insanely outnumbered by our troops, our artillery, our aircraft, and heavy artillery that's now leaving. I believe that was the 5th Armored, or at least... They're going to join them. And so now we lose that artillery support and are going to hold the hill with just U.S. Army Rangers. Ready. Rangers will lead the way and they will save the day. It's probably one of my uh, most and least favorite missions or maps go. in uh, Hell Let Loose, for example. Hurtkin Forest is also Hill 400 here. And, um, yeah, Look alive. certainly Enemy a tough fight. Hold the line. Germans coming back up. Oh, boy. Get those mortars in position. Two supply uh, trucks standing by. We've got captured German equipment as well. And let's spread out our troops. They gave us pretty much no time at all to prepare for a counterattack. The Germans blitzing? Where have I heard that before? All right, everybody get cover. We're going to try to deploy defenses as best we can, spread everyone out. All right, here they come. Well, looks like they're giving up already. That can't be all they're bringing. Oh boy. There's more than that. Well, we're not out of the woods just yet. These documents show that German command thinks very highly of this hill. They're gonna want it back for sure. We need to dig in. I want you to make these Jerry's suffer as much as we did taking this damn thing. Oh good, we blew up the boulders gates and now reinforcements have arrived. Ooh, 57 millimeters, okay. The weather has significantly worsened, so we can forget about air support. No, oh, no. We don't have much time, Aye, so sir. lay down mines in the most obvious spots. Yes, sir. And don't get... Oh, let's slow down time a little bit. And don't get caught out of your foxholes when the crowds show up, right. So we've got about five minutes then. Uh, my specialty, crabs, hill defenses. Who doesn't love a good hill defense, right? Let's go ahead and get all of our airborne, rather, rangers yours, spread out and uh, get them ready for battle. We're going to go ahead and uh, probably be the rear guard here. I, I guess AI has showed up as well to take this eastern flank, but we might also want to prepare for the uh, southern side as well. Now let's get all the troops in position. Go, sir. Excellent work. Okay. And we've got more trucks here. As well supply. Great. Always ready. Get more uh, equipment up to the top. More infantry up to the top. Always ready. 57 millimeter. We'll see how that does. Just get it up here. And our earlier mortar purchases that we used to take the hill are now going to help us defend the hill. Four minutes remaining. Not a lot of time for mines and whatnot, especially when we don't know where the Germans will come from. Orders, sir. So we're just going to try to spread everyone out Ready to go, and sir. slow them down. Enemy may have tanks. Yes, sir. Waiting your command, sir. And there's lots of dead Germans around with Panzer Faust, so Ready we should order, be able to fire sir. those and Panzer Shreks and AT grenades that we may already have at them, Ready, including our AT guns and maybe some other I'm Ready. special last-minute support. We've I'm lost Ready. our artillery that was used to take the hill when we've lost our aircraft, of course, yes, sir. Uh, with the weather. What else do we have at our disposal? 57 millimeters, more mortars, more supply. We've got plenty of supply here, so I'm going to call up an AT gun if we can. Scratch that. I'm going to call up a better group of AT, which is the Rangers. They do come with bazookas as go. well. 
Let's get these troops ready to go. We do have a 105 up here, too. Yep, that's ready to go. Make sure we get that uh, resupplied, though. It's in the right spot, at least. And let's do a little quick inspection on the troops. Now, I'm not sure exactly where the Germans are going to come from, but I'm going to go ahead and just assume that everything may be attacked except for the northwest side. Like, that seems to be far within our secured territory, as well as the northern right, side, too, since that's where our air support was coming from, and that's where they were flying over. Any orders, sir? Any orders, sir? Ready to go, sir. All right. Sniper, awaiting orders. Sniper's ready, good. Now, there's a big gap over there, which is what we're going to bring these new rangers in for. And if we can, we're going to call in another group. There are 250 points. We've almost got another 100. We're at 75. We've got a little ways to go before we get more of them. But we'll bring some vehicle support over. So we'll bring an anti-tank 57mm uh, here. Probably park that around there to protect the hill, both left and right side. Waiting orders, sir. And is this our 50... Um, it's our 50 cal with 400 rounds. I think we could probably get that thing rearmed. 400 rounds probably ain't a lot for that 50 cal. Ready, sir. So again, let's get everyone spread out best we can. We want medics and whatnot nearby. Ready, Any miscellaneous troops can be mixed together to just to hold the line. Looks like we got two ranger squads here. Good to see. Put one squad there. Or at least a squad so big we can't uh, command them all at once. Send our troops over to this side too. We should have that left and right side of the uh, north southwest side secured. They'll have support of a... It's a little... Oh, an engineering vehicle. Alright, that's got a 50 cal on it. So stop that right there. And we'll bring over that 50 cal or 57 millimeter too. One of the two or both. We'll bring over a 50 cal there. And we can have the engineers jump out and maybe place mines for us. Uh, I think three minutes is probably not enough to really place any sort of valuable mines at the moment. We would need something around 15 to 20 minutes in order to really uh, set things up correctly. And this could help us to maybe set up some mines where we think they'll approach, go, but it's anybody's guess. Regardless, we can supply the engineers again, and the engineers can build all sorts of things, including a tank trench. So that might be good for our 57 millimeter. Well, let's see if if we can. Set up a tank trench there for them. Tank ditch. And they could try to look over anything that may approach here. That's kind of far away. So we'll build another one. A forward and a rear position. And we could also put the M16 up on that line as well. The 57 millimeter just needs to be protected against fast moving vehicles such as if the Germans bring a Puma but that's perfect for taking out like a Panzer III, uh, IV or even a Panther if it happens to show the side. Alright, I want infantry now. I want infantry in those trenches and I want ready all those defenses. We gotta hold. Here. What do you need? Yes sir. Hold boys, hold. As long as everybody's spread out. Awaiting orders, sir. Then we're good. What the hell is this exactly? Oh, a whole truck of troops. All right, boys, hop out. Always ready. We're ready. Let's get that 105 ready to go. That could be probably here as well. Sucks to shoot around all those trees, but that's the way it's going to be. Awaiting orders. Yeah, let's put our mortars behind some rocks here. Ready to go, sir. Black's in a good position. We're did our 50 cal move in to get resupplied? It's probably still at 400. Oh, 4200. I, either that was at 4200 and I misread that, or it fully rearmed to 4200 maximum capacity. I'm not sure, but supplies looking a little low. We're down to about a quarter of a truck Ready here. Go, and these guys, you can all hop out. Everybody's got to get out in those trenches. Let's go. Okay. 
So with those two squads approaching on that side, it's going to be more than enough. We'll send these guys up then to hold the higher ends of the hill. And we do need to defend a position there. So we may want to send one of those squads over that way. If and when we get enough points, we'll have them arrive late. There are early defenses there. So we'll send that in later on just to plug the hole. But keeping the enemy out of the main line first, or the, the back lines, by holding the main line and then reinforcing uh, the support lines is a good call. That way they don't take the defensive lines from us and just simply push us out of there. And uh, we don't want to give them a place to fight us from. We want them out on the dirt where they belong. Wow, look at all that snow just fluttering around like that. Beautiful maps in this game, too. Uh, an incredible attention to detail uh, throughout the entire game. The game every yes, time sir. just keeps getting better with updates, mods, DLC. Any orders, sir? And then, of course, uh, Ready, just sir. quality of life changes and additions over time, too. And the Conquest campaign is Number outstanding here. as well. Our Fun thing to do with friends. Uh, yes, play sir. a mission or two at a time. I, I'm pretty I'm sure that's multiplayer. At least I want to play that multiplayer. And I could imagine it just being a great time. All right, two squads coming up there. What else do we have? Uh, some more German equipment over here, like a 37mm that was pointed up in the sky. Not even paying attention when we were attacking them. And a small abandoned uh, supply truck there that doesn't have much more going for it. 113 points. I think we're pretty good here. We just need to get more of our uh, friendlies up on the line. And if we can get everybody just behind a tree or a rock and ready to go, that's fine. Just need to d uh, dig those tank defenses. That's good. And I just want to try to keep our vehicles safe from possible artillery, enemy tanks, and then maybe counterattack. All these hill defenses are good. I wish they would feature... Uh, I, I would love to see somebody recreate the entirety of the Company of Heroes campaign in Call to Arms. I'm not sure if it's on the workshop. I'm pretty sure, about 75%, that it was for Meta War Assault Squad before. But uh, if somebody just can recreate those maps... People already recreated the Col uh, the Company of Heroes campaign in Meta War Assault Squad, and that goes for Modern Warfare as well. Huge, big, deep mods from many years ago that are amazing. You got to check the channel for it. But seriously, the uh, yeah, all of the original Company of Heroes missions, possibly some from uh, Call of Duty uh, United Offensive, which was a DLC, and then maybe some stuff from Call of Duty Two, all present there. And some people just making mods about missions that are a little more obscure that gain popularity after missions. Uh, games like that show some of those missions and campaigns and defenses and battles. Cool stuff. I think we're really good to go here. Uh, we've got, like, medics just chilling out. Where am I he still doesn't have <laughs> ammo. Uh, we'll keep some of these guys in the rear, though. Actually, we'll take these guys and put them in the uh, position here. And we'll add some more reinforcements to that. Now, if the enemy breaks through, we, we can put a bunch of reinforcements here, and if, if and when they're going to break through, we can reinforce from here. It's mostly going to support the eastern and southern side, but not the southwest side. It's a little too far. They can get there, but it's just going to take more time. Alright, these guys are good to go, actually. Alright, and with random stragglers uh, around, they can at least I'm protect ready. the guns from random Germans that may try to break through, and or tanks and whatnot. Yeah, Possibility. Keep our flat gun there. Mortar behind that rock. Good. 105. Good. Other mortar. Other mortar is moving. Uh, to the left flank here. Let's put him behind a uh, rock as well. And we can have them come to the supply trucks. A little dangerous now. Uh, we're not in control as much in these defense missions because the enemy is doing the attacking. And so we have to respond to their attack rather than being the one doing the attacking where we can bring our stuff where we want it. It's kind of more bring it to where it's needed. And that's kind of a different game. All right, well, with two minutes left on the clock. Let's go ahead and go back into full speed. And we're going to just simply save up some points for the enemy to attack us with. And to counter to uh, rather uh, respond to their counterattack with more troops, more rangers. Awaiting orders, sir. Get those troops in position. I'm ready. They seem ready. ready. To go, sir. Into those trenches, boys. Looks like there's even a wall here too. Aye, sir. So we can try to fight on the stone wall before we get to the trenches. Any orders, sir? Ready to go, sir. 
And we'll add more uh, defenses there too. More troops. Yes, sir. We'll put that there. Three men shoulder to shoulder is usually a pretty good call. If a grenade comes in, they usually are able to take uh, cover pretty quickly. Any more than that, it's just too crowded. Individual men can easily be picked off and taken out. What are your orders, sir? Two men, kind of the same deal. Ready to roll, sir. Alright, not sure where that other engineer went, but we're almost out of time here. I want the engineers to stay in their vehicle and defend that. 50 cal on that thing. Good for covering flanks. But in my opinion, not enough time to really fully dig in there with that. By the way, many of you asked too, how do you speed, uh, slow down speed and adjust it? Just hit backspace and you'll be able to speed up and slow down things. Very good if you're especially learning or making videos for yourself and you want to showcase uh, some things and talk a little bit more. You can slow down things while you explain to other people so everybody can learn it's a, it's a good thing and lets everybody kind of make more uh, decisions and uh, good for taking screenshots and stuff too if you had a cool battle going on all right well we're about to have a cool battle going on 16 seconds until the enemy arrives Always ready. go ahead and get these engineers in place yep these rangers in place these artillery guns in place and we'll wait for 250 points no artillery Thank goodness we bought all those mortars. That was a good call, of course. Spawning, you know, going into the... Um, oh, boy, here comes Incoming enemy artillery. artillery. Oh, hold on. We'll wait for that. We'll talk. Hold on. Oh, where the hell's that coming from? Light barrage. Knocking out some of the trees there. Ah, but anyway. I forgot what I was saying. Ask me down below. I'll respond. More artillery incoming. Rooted the Germans to cut me off like that. Really rude. Oh boy. Here they come. Watch out. They brought their own mortars. Oh, those are the ones I mentioned at the start of the video. 12 centimeter uh, SGRW42s. Sierra Golf Romeo Whiskey 42. Look at that. Well, that's bad bad for us. Luckily we do have a mortar on that left side though. So the Germans are going to have to kind of get close with theirs but they've got a pretty good range with that damn thing. Alright, Germans are going to retake the line. Our mortars are firing. Germans are stopping their offensive here. No, nope, now they're pushing through. Get those reinforcements up here ASAP. Friendly units are holding. North flank, we're going to try to meet him on that road. We 
want them up here, actually. We're going to direct engage and then flank that unit. Uh, so anyway, as I was mentioning, uh, yeah, Fog of War is what I wanted to mention from before. Uh, defending with Fog of War on or off doesn't matter as much for me. Since once they hit the lines, if you've got the artillery there to support it, they can fire. The, the guns, of course, are useless if they can't see the enemy before they reach, uh, approach the line. But that's why you always put an artillery gun or a mortar to support the line. Uh, let's get them to flank a little bit more. You guys go ahead and attack. Here. And we shall attack here. All right, we just need to get rid of those troops. Nice mortar kill there. Oh, this group's attacking. Our troops coming up right behind him. Beautiful. Hold here. German MG. Vehicle. Attack now starting in the northeast section. Ah, uh, exactly what I had thought. Damn Puma. I honestly thought it was going to be a Panzer IV, but then I thought, well, I've been through these missions before, these fast movers. That's what you want to attack a hill with. Or you bring artillery. Oh, God, there's a lot of stuff going up there. Okay, we've cleared this end out. Yes, sir. I'm going to keep these troops here. Looks like our AI... Now we... Lost a few there. Friendlies. Ready to go, sir. We ke uh, keep a few guys here to defend. These guys need to go, though. We're going to need reinforcement up at the top of that hill. To flank over to that section. A lot of vehicles now. Ready, sir. Very unfortunate. Yes, sir. Now, I could only imagine, then, that's what we were supposed to do with those AT mines. It'll probably be the same situation over here, too, but... Can't always predict where the enemy will enter. But I should have... That would have blocked a vehicle, maybe. Alright, we got our AT gun. Let's go ahead and flip that around. One oh five does have heat rounds, so it could possibly kill those units. And the thirty seven millimeter flak could shred any of these transports. Including the Puma and that other armored car, but not the Stu. Where did that Stu go? Early off G. Okay. Add boys to the trenches. I'm going to protect that mortar if I can. I'll be damned. I think artillery has knocked out one of those units. Alright, back to supply. We have a few rounds. We're good. 
Vehicle blob is pushing. Beautiful Panzer IV, uh, rather Stoop IV is pushing. Stoop III, sorry. Stoop III G, almost like a Panzer IV in a way. Great to see. Yeah, so the Stoop III is pretty good. Almost like a Panzer IV in many ways. And used great in conjunction with them. Love to see it. Oh, the battle. All right, we should be able to take that out now. Close enough. Take a shot, boys. Ah, oh, the flag's not giving them a chance. Oh, there we go. Fire AP. Another wave of tanks. Oh no. We perceive reports that the drop sent paratrooper regiments in the fight. They're very fast. Send them to hell with the rest. Well, now we've got a light tank coming at us, known as a, um, a little old thing known as a tiger. Shouldn't be too hard to defeat, right? Oh man. Well, look, I'm glad we've got the blocking going on down there. We got the blockage. The blockage going on. They're bringing up mortars. Oh no. Yep. Okay, that's not good. Oh, we, can, we need to get this thing rearmed. We might just have to hold them until the weather clears. I'm gonna buy some more Rangers though, they do have AT. Rangers do have AT and they'll be able to use that against the Tiger and any other tanks that approach. Hell of a lot of fire now. Insane. Field howitzers too. All right, if we can get behind those, that'll be good. Let's have our infantry try to spike those. Might be able to throw an AT grenade at them. Enemy might try to attack from the upper right flank. So let's get ready for that fun. Rangers do come with some AT mines, so let's lesson learned from previously. They've killed our 105. Wow, look at how many shells that thing was able to fire off. They wiped out our flag gun. Okay, 
Let's get the infantry up here. I'm ready. In your order, sir. Well, the, the Tiger is picking off our small vehicles, but it's an incredible overkill for what they got. I think our mortar was destroyed as well. Rangers do have AT, check that out. Three bazooka men, we can actually flank these AT units and then their tanks. Things look bad for us at the moment, but these guys should be able to flank around easily and possibly kill the, well, obviously, the field artillery completely undefended is a no-no for the Germans. And then also that Tiger tank, if we get rid of that, it'll just come down to the Stuke, and we should be good. In the meantime, let's get these guys to place mines. If you're looking to spread them out like that down a road, hold shift. Looks like our crew just wiped out one with a bazooka. Any orders, sir? Yes, sir. Oh, there it was. All right, those are out. All right, let's get that Puma. Nice, boys. And wiping out the Stuke 3. All right, half track is down. Puma is down. Stuke 3 is down. Now it just comes down to that Tiger and another Stuke. Boys, place those mines. Looks like they did. Maybe? Just one? Yes, Alright, well, we don't have time. Those tanks are a horrible thing to use here. Oh, they're about to lose it. Get the medic to save some lives. Let's go. Beautiful. Friendlies are coming up to eliminate that tank. There goes the tiger. Things have changed pretty quickly. AT grenades. Oh, wow. whoa, whoa. Tankers, tankers. Spread out. A lot going on right now. Half track trying to flee. AT. Another half track up. Your 
Alright, friendly infantry. Let's push in from this way. Nobody grab a... Uh, grab some cover. Where's our medics? We'll start with this guy. Come on, don't leave me. I can do with the smoke right now. Awaiting orders, sir. Okay, come on, medics. Get those guys. Push down the hill and clean up. Alert, boys. Damn fine day. Wow. Couple of grenades going off from troops hiding behind those vehicles. Speed up there. Ready to go, sir. Ooh, Panzerfaust. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, Panzerfaust, you're out. I'm ready. Alright, just to clean out the attack now. Always ready. Damn. Again, I really wish we had medics that were uh, autonomous, where you could set them to auto-medic and seek out troops around them that are wounded, uh, that you could toggle that on and off. Some, most of the losses we've taken here, because I've been so busy trying to preserve lives by taking out the Tiger and all those tanks from behind, rather than, you know, we could save the one man for sure, but we've saved probably ten times that. Um, you know, for each wounded because of how we, oh boy, how we called out the, uh, the attack on the rear. Enemy mortar position, is that defended? Oh boy, oh wow, he got knocked down but he's not out. Alright, we just gotta wipe out the mortars. Where's our trooper? Oh. Jetzt haben wir sie. Ah, just throw a grenade. Or not. Adam. No crossfire there, but it's okay. Top of the hill, boys. Beans, bullets, and band-aids. Excellent. All right, well, we defended the hill, losing about 50 men and three vehicles to the Germans, 318, 17, plus some pretty heavy Tigers and Panzer uh, Stu uh, Stuke threes. Pretty damn good day. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This game is uh, tremendously near and dear to my heart, going all the way back to the Men of War series. Men of War 2 coming soon. Men of War, an absolute classic. Men of War Assault Squad, good, but Men of War Assault Squad 2 is really just like a, a hotbed of just great mods, although it is old and clunky. Certainly would recommend this one being newer for you know more modern operating systems and graphics. It's a good one. I'll see you all next time. Thank you again for watching.